A very good morning. Welcome to the Buzz UG. And of course, I'm back with the biggest stories making headlines this Monday morning. And in case you haven't subscribed, kindly consider subscribing and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Well, last evening, Eddie Kenzo was trending number one on Twitter. Of course, everybody was wishing him all the best in the Grammy Awards that happened last night. Unfortunately, it's bad news. He's not been able to win that award. It went to South Africa. But kudos to Eddie Kenzo. Thanks for representing Plus 256 on the international scene. At least he got himself that nominee's medal. That's enough for now. Yeah, let's start from there. Next time, he will bring the real award home. So, you guys, I hope you remember that lady called Kamiat Namuli who was shot dead on the streets of Kampala by army during the November 2020 killings. Now, His Excellency Bobby Wine's wife, Babi Chagulanyi, together with Alex Mufumbiro, the deputy spokesperson of NUP, over the weekend visited her family in Buyende district. They delivered the good news of a good Samaritan who has agreed to pay for one of the children's education until she finishes school. Bobby Wine's camp says they are very grateful to those who continue to support the families affected by brutality of this President Museveni's government. Bobby also revealed that they have over 137 children living in bad conditions similar to this family and they demand that President Museveni's government swallows its pride and account for the dead, the disappeared and those kept in detention centers. <laughs> Now, the Vice Chancellor Makere University, Professor Banabas Nawangwe, has confirmed the death of one of the students of electrical engineering, identified as Emmanuel Wamono, who drowned in a swimming pool over the weekend in Bale district in a hotel reportedly owned by Honorable Nandala Mafabi. It's reported that Emmanuel was trying to save the life of a child who was almost drowning, but unfortunately, Emmanuel didn't make it out of the water. Police is yet to make a comment on this story, but it's very sad that life has been lost right there. May his soul rest in peace. Well, relatedly, another Ugandan identified as Namakanga Pamela from Nakasongola district has died in Saudi Arabia due to harsh treatment in that Middle East country. I think preparations to repatriate her body are underway. It should be remembered that the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Okelo Oriem, recently in an interview with journalist Solomon Seruancha, said that Ugandans traveling to the Middle East are on their own. He called on the girls traveling to the Middle East to stay at home because the government of Uganda do not have the capacity to do as expected. My advice is anybody who so chooses to go in this place, my advice is don't go because if you the expectations are too high as to what the government of Uganda can do, and Uganda government doesn't have the capacity, your expectations are too high that if you get into problems, we will jump into action. A SWAT team will come, pick you up, and buy, buy you a business class ticket and bring it. It will not happen. My advice to every single girl: you know the stories, you know what's happening there. Stay at home. Now, the Vice President of Uganda, Her Excellency Jessica Alupo, over the weekend met His Holiness Pope Francis in Juba, South Sudan. The meeting took place at State House, Juba. Alupo was representing President Museveni in a meeting that focused on the peace and security of that country, South Sudan. Now, police in Butaleja district, in collaboration with uh, crime intelligence officers, have raided ADF breeding terror cell and uh, rescued 61 suspected victims. Reports 
briefing the media at Butaleja police station over the weekend. Moses Mugwe, the Bukedi police spokesperson, revealed that six people have been arrested and uh, will be charged with terrorism and aggravated human trafficking. <laughs> Well, there you go. That's the latest update on the Buzz UG. And in case you have anything on your mind, you want to say about any of these stories, the comment section is always open for you 24 7. But most importantly, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't, and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fula, and it's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio Jungle.